of exercise number 9 and 10 from progressive magazine of july 2022 5 seconds start mr vice chairman sir i am standing to support the bill every clause of it with all the amendments however i have a few suggestions i would like the government and the minister to take note of them the great and important leader of europe told his ambassadors if you go to london go to the share market then you will feel its pulse and know its health and politics the share market is controlled remotely or fully by the company law board in our country so any amendment to the company law in a progressive way is going to help the growth economic growth if it is otherwise it will be detrimental to the growth what is happening today in our country in the field of company law and how it is functioning the company law is represented in the states by the registrar of companies today in the eyes of the law everyone is equal whether you are a company with two persons or with rupees 20000 capital or hundreds of shareholders with hundreds and crores of shares the forms and formats made are the same for everyone on the one hand you suggest that companies should be run properly with proper professional management with better auditors and company secretaries on the other hand you also allow a person or a group of even two persons husband and wife or son and father to form a company in such a case he is the producer he is the engineer he is the clerk he is the typist he is the accountant and hence he has no time to look into other things and understand all the forms the result is that hundreds of cases are filed against such companies only in kanpur there must be 1000 such cases in which the party has failed to submit some forms some reports or some pro forma there is a nexus between a few lawyers and the registrar of companies either in patna or in kanpur or anywhere in the state capitals hundreds of cases are filed if you fail to submit these forms you have to pay a penalty and suffer prosecution the penalty is very minimal it is rupees 25 or rupees 50 but the word prosecution is also there the result is that small businessmen who are afraid of going to jail have to go and face the magistrate on the other hand no case is filed on bigger companies because they can afford to appoint a lawyer appoint a representative have a liaison with the registrar's office a person who is having a company with rupees 5 lakhs or rupees 2 lakhs or rupees 10 lakhs of capital a small factory or business does not have that much of resources to go and have a liaison with the registrar of companies the result is that cases are filed against him and where a fine of rupees 50 could have been sufficient for settlement a fine of rupees 5000 is imposed 
the same law is not applied to the public companies and government corporations once i was chairman of the bihar industrial development corporation in that corporation for the last 5 years the balance sheet was not audited i inquired why the registrar did not file a case against them they said that it is headed by a managing director who is an ias officer and no case can be filed against an ias officer he is big bureaucrat he is much higher than the registrar of companies that is why i suggest two or three things small people are actually being tortured and bigger ones go scot free this is practically happening so for better growth of the companies my suggestions are three in number first simplify the forms make a division of companies with a capital of rupees 20 lakhs and below and the companies with the paid up capital of rupees 20 lakhs and above in the case of companies below rupees 20 lakhs share capital burden and difficulties should be lesser the forms should be simpler in case of failure to submit forms or delay in the submission of their reports there should be a fine only say of rupees 50 or rupees 500 but no prosecution for bigger companies you have whatever laws you have got today make another category of the public undertakings the government companies such companies should be treated on a different footing because 100% shares invested belong to the government it is the people's money it is managed officially there is no personal interest involved the delay is because of some administrative difficulties so keep such companies in a different category fourthly in the in case you are not able to amend this the only alternative is don't allow small companies to grow stop